very good morning. Uh, South Africa, goeie morgen, Suid-Afrika, heilige zondag. Beautiful Sunday started with prayer. Uh, now on my way just to have an early meeting uh, breakfast on a Sunday uh, where we, most of us, are just reflecting. Want op hierdie dag het ons een breek gehad. The God we serve, the God that we respect, uh, said that today we as a country, we as a people can reflect and and we can take um, we can take a bit of a thought process as well. There's a time that you've got to rest your soul and a time that you also need breathing space uh, to re reflect on so much. So I thought I'll, I'm driving to this meeting and I just wanted to say a very, very good morning. And maybe, as you can see, this is on my personal Facebook page. It's not on my official one. It's also not on the UIM one. This is, uh, this is actually my first page I created. This is my eerste bladse. I has no met respect in met so veel, met so veel dankbaarheid. Hij is vol. Maar per tijd wil ik niet praat. Je weet, per tijd wil Neil de Beer ook niet een beetje praat. Um, oor, oor Neil de Beer. So ons het drie bladse op Facebook. Ons het my persoonlijke ene wat ek kan sê en praat wat ek wil, hoopelik. Al is dit nou nie meer moendlik nie. And I also have, so it's my personal page, but it seems that in Neil de Beer's life nothing is personal anymore. So, no matter what happens, um, this is going to get carried in any case. Uh, but it's Neil, so this is on Neil's page, mine. Then I've got a Neil de Beer official page, which is over 24,000 now. Blessed. And, um, and then the UIM page, um, that's also there. But I wanted to quickly just go say good morning. Um, how are you? Good morning, shalom. Um, I worked until two o'clock this morning and I'm up now at nine. And as you know, I did a video last night with our crime fighters, CRU, and not to spill the beans, but there was a cameraman with us last night. Uh, there was a cameraman Samadons, and he is from a, a, a program on Mnet, and that's as far as I'm going to go. Uh, it's normally on Sundays. And they followed us. So this program that appears on Mnet on a Sunday is a, it's an in-depth program. And they decided to join me last night. And hopefully, the story that will come out about the CRU and the people that are so brave, the young men and women, more than 50 of them that join me every night for the past year and a half fighting crime will be exposed for the first time. About true community policing, the removal of various weapons, the removal of Tuk and Dacha last night, the saving, not of a life, but the saving of an excruciating emergency situation where a woman in anger threw hot boiling kettle water over a guy and we stepped in, we got there on the right time, no ambulance, and we, we had one of our medical trained guys help that person. So last night you got a lot of stuff, you got anti-crime, search and seizure, five or six knives took off the street. And we did that for eight hours. Now, Akis Mugh, Neil is tired. Because not only are we running a political party to change this country, not only am I running six companies globally and I've got to leave overseas again because I've got to also respect that I run companies in the world and I'm blessed to but I also fight crime at night and at the same time I'm doing charity work to push our social development side and have so little time for my family and friends and Neil De Beer gets tired I, I physically am also tired um, I work 16 hours a day 
And then I realized that people look at me and they go, um, you know, what are you doing? How do you do this? How do you wake up every morning at five and go to bed at 11 o'clock and, and you're, not, you're not shattered? And then people last night tell me, Neil, don't burn out. Neil, may, may God protect you. And I say to those people, thank you. And then I get people that say I mustn't be a Bible puncher. I mustn't declare every five minutes that I'm a Christian and that I love God because I st I'm starting to sound like a, a lay preacher. And then I still get people today that pull into question my, my ethics and what we are trying to do at the UIM and what we are trying and the effort and the the months of of people swearing at me and swearing at my family and getting into my character at Starnox yet staff. I've I've not folded. And that's what people ask me. And when you look at the people around me, Tanny Granger, Dwayne, Charlotte, Yucky, Jock, Burland, uh, Denmark, uh, Hamilton, um, Cindy, Jesse, um, Sydney Smith, Victor, uh, I, I just want to go on, Christian, uh, Graham Power, then all the people that are really climbing in um, and helping me, Johan Bardnos, Gabardi, all my friends, you, yay, yes, you, that phone me and bless me, my, my, my woman's bureau, those dames, the mas, the doctors, the sisters, my women's league, the men, the real men that get up there, the Bure, the Griquas, the Koi, the Sun, the indigenous people, the Kosa, the Zulu, men just Every South African. The site that Brett created, the three and a half thousand people that are now on our new UIM supporters page, our women's group, um, the 24,000 people on Facebook, the three and a half thousand people on YouTube, subscribe now, verified, the over two to three thousand members that have decided to physically become a member of the UIM and the 80, 100, 200,000 people that view our videos. Then this is what I declare today on a Sunday, the day of God, that the UIM has become bigger than Neil. The UIM has become bigger than one man. Because any organization that builds its total survival on one man is doomed to die. It's doomed to fail. So the UIM, the United Independent Movement, is now united. It's independent. It's no longer Neil De Beer or Tanny or Charlotte or Cindy or Yucky or Duane or Jacques. No. It's become your organization. In actual fact, it's become a movement now. So you can attack me. Where am I? You can attack me, slaughter me, and to those who still today send me death threats. You can kill me. And I know you are trying. But what you don't and didn't realize is that God's anointment, God's shadow, brought a couple of people in this country together and made it a people's movement. And now will become a political party, a force to be reckoned with. Now I'm going to say it. I love my God. 
I'm a virgin Christian, if you want to call it that. Yeah, a virgin Christian. A Christian that has just been born. A Christian that has been given the opportunity to really look at life differently. And wow, I missed out. But I'm not going to stop saying God's word. You will not stop me on my personal Facebook to say that I love my God. Jy gaan nie vir my Neil de Beer verkondig dat ek nie mag Godse naam gebruik en dat ek nie kan glimlach elke dag en sê ek is net hier dier Godse genade. Jy, jy gaan nie dit met my doen nie. Want ek weet wat hy vir my beteken. You don't have to become a Christian. You don't have to become a person of God, eh? This is the good thing about being um, being in a democracy. We, we as Christians, we as people from God, we declare that we respect other faith. Yeah, we do. We respect Muslim faith, the Jewish faith, Buddhists, people that, that are of a different denomination. But I mean God. It takes a unity. It takes the colored, the black, the white, the Indian, the Chinese, whoever is born in this country. It takes us all to change a country. Now, in the last week, we've had a, a, a rough time attacking me again by people like Carl and another guy called Kevin Burden that was with me, really part of us, and now suddenly doing his own thing and Many more that want to be president and want to do this and want to do that and start a party and a movement. And, and one thing that I wanted to say to you that bothers me, this is really bothering me and I'd like your comment, I'll read your comments later. How come they are so happy to Neil de Beer and the UIM to destroy? How come they are all gedink, people? Just think about this. Why are they so stuck on Neil? Why are they with every might trying to attack, destroy, belittle, degrade Neil? Wow. Why are people still attacking the UIM? Why? When people like, yeah, the Buddha Legion spoke to me. Massive South African organizations are speaking to the UIM, not because they maybe sometimes want to, but because we are a unity. Herman Mashaba, I met him, reached out to Big Daddy Liberty because he's amazing. Move one million, Jared Petzer, and so forth and so on. Because I'll tell you why, South Africa. The UIM is not the enemy. Neil De Beer is a normal citizen. Yeah, a guy that is a leader in the continent. I run many companies and I'm again going away because I've got to lead a global bank and a global institution. I've got reach. But I'm asking you, whoa, forget about me. Who comes jylle so hell gesint? Om Neil de Beer in the UIM uit te haal en te commentaar. But no one is doing the same to the EFF. No one is attacking the ANC. Whoa, South Africa. My supporters, my friends. Think about that. Isn't that weird? Don't you find that funny? That when you look at all those people on Facebook. The Facebook politicians. The Facebook warriors. Isn't it fun funny? That 80% of these people I've mentioned. These people that attack us. Which will have no consequence. No consequence on our mission. Because if I fall. A million will rise. So it doesn't matter. UIM is going to government. UIM is going to take seven metros on. 
and UIM in 2024 will give this government and this country change, no matter how. So get, get, get ready and get settled in your seat. You are not going to take me out. And if you take me out, you've got to get it. Kiki, that's say. It matters not. Because Neil de Beer is insignificant in the eyes of God. And now, Neil de Beer has become very small and insignificant in the UIM. There are leaders behind me now. Massive guys that this week coming, we are going to put in the media. So you failed. You failed by attacking me and that was the strategy. Well done. You thought taking me out is going to make the UIM fail. Jy is so verkeerd jou dinges. Because there are people behind us now. Thousands. Next week we are going to Unleash our national structure that we've been working on now for three months. Brand new, brand new people, amazing people. So to our enemies, you are failing. To those that are jealous and greedy and power hungry, you have failed. The people of this country, you are, you are insignificant. Because you went and attacked with hate. And God sees this. I know it, I'm reading the Bible because I'm new. I'm exploring it. And it's like walking in a forest and finding a fruit tree of a different kind every 10 minutes. Our Women's League and our international people and our members, they will never allow us to fall. And here's why. We were created for a purpose. I am not the right guy to be president of this country. I'm not the best. I know that. I, I know myself. But I've been in leadership now for 22 years of my life with presidents and global people internationally. And here's what I don't get. One minute you're with me. I'm the most fantastic. I'm great. I'm an honorable guy. I am a man with integrity. I'm an awesome man. There's no one else. And then the next minute you attack. South Africa, do these people not know that you watch them? Do they not know that their Facebook videos, that their statements, and that their long discussions are in public? And that they can see them change because of jealousy, nasty, ignorance, and greed. Don't they know that we check their videos? And so do you. Isn't it weird that one minute the UIM is the only answer and the next minute people realize, but wait a minute, I also want to be this. You see, if you take the UIM away from me and you let it go, I'm still powerful. If you take politics away from me, I'm still global. And if I never enter politics in this country, I'm still wealthy. Because I had it before all of this. So what's your point? Yeah, court medicine. Buyer. And if you don't want to take your medicine, then there's another medicine I'd like to give to you. It's the Bible. Go read it. And if you don't want to accept that the fighting and the attacks on the UIM and me is wrong. And that you're playing in the hand of the real enemy. The real enemy of this people is the EFF. It's Julius. My economy unfat me now. Oh, you can talk and you can jibber, but not like me. You can't take him on. That's bang. And I challenge you to go up against them and, and defeat them like we will. Come on. You don't even know him. And then you want to depose the mighty, the mighty dragon, the ANC. Okay. You see, the thing that people hated me about, the thing that people attacked me about, the farrier and all that, 
isn't it weird that now you need me because I was 30 years there. Know the enemy. It's weird, eh? And you've been? You've been in Latulia House? You've served a multitude of presidents? You know the attack strategy? You know how to change government? Well, guess what? You don't. And you can jibber and you can flap. But you don't. So here's a hint to all those people that are against the UIM. That are attacking me. That don't now follow thousands that have joined me. You are playing into the end of the real enemy and now I have got to doubt your allegiance. Sorry, I must question your real agenda. Because it's as simple as that. Anybody that's against anybody in this country today that's trying to change this government and depose a national liberal ideology of the EFF and the ANC, you are feeding the enemy. There's no other way logically and intelligently to describe it. Nee mense, as jy nog vandag teen enige organisatie of persoon of leier staan, wat teen die EFF en die ANC wil beklui, dan moet ek jou agenda vraag teken. Ek moet, ek moet een bykie vraag, wat is jou rarige agenda? Want het maak nie saak wie ek is nie, en het maak ook nie saak wie die UIM is nie, die duisende nie. Ons is teen wat aangaan op die oomlik, waar staan jy? Nee, 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 jy moet nou mooi dink. Want as jy haatspraak teen ons het, and she must summon the enemy because we are trying to take away corruption, crime, the capital theft, which we as the UIM publicly for the first time in detail exposed. It was in the press, it was in the newspapers on Friday. That's how much recognition they gave us. UIM did that in detail. And another massive breaking story of the UIM exposing corruption in this country coming up this week. Vaas jy. So on Facebook, I see you've got 800 people uh, viewing you. Sharing. 12. I'm not stopping you. Go ahead. But you don't reach what we reach. You don't do what we do. I'll tell you why. It's because of the people that bought into a change. It's because the people know that I as a leader can make change. It's because they know I am a global citizen. Winston Churchill was never the right prime minister. But for the right time and the right moment in World War II, Winston Churchill was the right guy. And when it was done, he left. Now, by no means, I'm Winston Churchill. By no means I'm Golda Meir or in the shadow of such leaders than Mandela. But what I do know is I am giving my life for this country. I'm giving my life for the people. I'm willing to sacrifice everything I've got so that change can come. So that my children, which I have four, can stay in this country. Otherwise, like I wanted to last year, I wanted to leave. Because I have the means to leave. But how do you take 50 million people with you? So I'm staying. I don't care if I go to parliament. I don't care if I go to council. I don't care if I stand on the backside of a street. But I am not leaving my country. I won't leave until the job is done. Because we have an anointment of God for purpose. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 was read to me the other day. And it said, before you were formed in the womb, before you were even born or conceived, I wired you. I put you together. 
so that you today could do for which purpose I have created you. So South Africa, think a bit about what I'm saying. On this page, you are my friends. You are my family. I appeal you today for unity. I appeal for peace. And I appeal that we fight together. And that we ignore those that are distracting us. That you join us. Because in September, we will make a difference in this country in seven metros. I give you my word. I've never broken my word. And if I have, I have a good damn explanation. This week is a big week, a massive announcement on Tuesday in a press meeting publicly, which we will announce on Tuesday morning about a massive move to bring indigenous people and cultures together in this country. And I look forward to it. Mag die Heere jylle seen, mag die Heere hier die Republiek van Suid-Afrika seen, en mag God ons beskerm. May God bless you today, may God bless this Republic of South Africa. Sorry for the ranting, but I uh, had to get it off my chest. I love you, and I am in love with you, and thank you for giving me hope, presence, love, and energy and may we be all plugged into God's generator of love and energy so that we can make it to the end of the day and change a country because in him everything is possible but through you we will make it possible as you come by van dag a lamb spoke if you're going to barbecue today, but braai rather. If you're going to have that Sunday cooked meal, thy patats, thy roast potatoes, thy lamb, thy rice with the gravy, thy soot pompoon cookies and the milk tart. If you're going to have a traditional Sunday meal, a curry, a biryani. Think of those that cannot and make sure that we make them a change. Pay it forward. God bless you. God love you and I'll speak to you in the week. Thank you for giving me that time and I really love you.